David, David, David. Oh, he's the king. of the young king who was so humble that he listened to the elders' instructions. Oh, uh, if I'm right, you are talking about King Jehoash. Yes, I am. Oh, yes, I've heard about him. His reign was so glamorous. Welcome, Welcome to another, another episode of the Open, Open Heavens Daily Devotional, Devotional Review for Teens, hosted by, by Peace Bill International Academy. Academy. And our topic for today is King, King Jehoash. We can find our text in the book of 2 Kings chapter 12, verse 1 and 2, which tells us about the early reign of King Jehoash and how he listened to the instruction of the priest Jehoada. Yes. And our memory verse is taken from the book of Isaiah chapter 30, verse 21. And it says, And thine ear shall hear a word behind thee, saying, This is the way, walk ye in it, when you turn to the right hand, and when you turn to the left. Can we all take it together? Isaiah chapter 30, verse 21. And, and thine, thine ear shall hear a word behind thee, saying, This is the way, walk ye in it, when you turn to the right hand, and when you turn to the left. Rookie, one fun fact about King Jehoash was that he was seven years old when he became king. Yes, and that's what our daddy told us in our devotional for today, is that we should get ready for any position in our lives, no matter our size, age, or even our status. God has a plan for every one of us, and that's why we should always be ready. Another thing he did was that he listened to godly counsels from godly elders which guided him and directed him in the right way to lead his people. And yes, as a young teenager here at school, I listened to counsels from my teachers and staff and at home I also listened to counsels from my parents and that will lead me in the right path. Yeah, that's true. And also, speaking of the right way, King Jehoash did what was right in the sight of God. And that's why even when the Levites told him that they're not going to rebuild the temple, as soon as the fund arrived, he commanded them to start work immediately. And that's why our daddy told us that King Jehoash was not timid because of his size or his age. And that's why as far as we know what is right, we have all the rights to continue doing what is right. Wow. But in all this, we have to be humble. Humility is the first target. That's just like our daddy in the Lord, Pastor E. E. at the prayer. Yes, but King Jehoash did not do all the work. He also had backup from a godly mentor called Jehoiada, who counseled him in the right path. And that's why as teenagers, we should always have godly mentors who will lead us in the right path. Oh yes, that's right. And that's why age should not be a limit to anything we do in life. As far as we are ready, God is ready for you. Yes, Samuel was seven years old when God called him. Abraham was 75 years old when God called him. David was 17 years old when he fought the big bad Goliath. And lastly, King Jehoash was 7 years old when he started reigning all over the lands. Ricky, I find a point in that. That your, your years and your size cannot limit you to whatever you want to do. And our key point for today says, Being young should not limit you from fulfilling God's purpose for your life. My name is Ogene Rukewe Ogene Obo. And I am Alagwa Deborah Alainji. See you yes. soon. Bye. Bye.